Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at and reflecting on some of the psalms from the Bible, which were written as songs and can still be sung, but can also still be used as prayers. Now, a brief disclaimer about the psalms. The psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Dewey Rams Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Dewey Rams Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 10 in the Dewey Rams Bible, but Psalm 11 in the RSV. Unto the end, a psalm for David. Description of the psalm. In the Lord I put my trust. How then do you say to my soul, Get thee away from hence, to the mountain like a sparrow? The mountain in this verse refers to a secret hiding place, because it was much easier to find hidden caves and chasms to hide in in the mountains than in plains or deserts. The sparrow is a symbol of traveling with great speed. Essentially, the message of the verse is that because I trust in God, I have no reason to run away during dangerous times. For, lo, the wicked have bent their bow, they have prepared their arrows in the quiver, to shoot in the dark the upright of heart. A dangerous time is being described, in which evildoers not only attack good people with impunity, but do so using dishonorable means, like firing at them from hiding places in the shadows. For they have destroyed the things which thou hast made. But what has the just man done? Evildoers destroy the good things that God has created, and good people are unable to fix the damage they have caused. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes look on the poor man. His eyelids examine the sons of man. In spite of the terrible state of affairs in this life, God is still in charge and sees everything that people do. The Lord trieth the just and the wicked, but he that loveth iniquity hateth his own soul. God gives everyone a chance. However, some people choose to be evil and disobedient, and those people are only doing damage to themselves. He shall rain snares upon sinners. Fire and brimstone and storms of wind shall be the portion of their cup. A snare is a piece of rope, cord, or string, which is used to trap unwary creatures, and in this verse, the image of the snare is used to represent the opportunity that God gives us to make our own mistakes and suffer for them. The word sinners here refers to impenitent sinners, people who choose to sin rather than to obey God's will, and who aren't sorry for having sinned. Storms, fire, and brimstone are all symbols representing suffering in hell. For the Lord is just, and hath loved justice. His countenance hath beheld righteousness. God will eventually act to bring justice to every person, righteous and evil alike. Therefore, we should try to be righteous, so that justice is a benefit to us and not something to be afraid of. So, this psalm is a short, sweet summary of the simple reality of our accountability to God for our actions and our decisions, and how we need to keep in mind that His justice is inevitable when we make our choices in life. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.